drawing upside down. I was challenged in the comments down below to do a drawing upside down. Now, not me hanging upside down, but the drawing upside down. Uh, if you're new here, please click subscribe. I need all the subscribers that I can get as well as all of the thumbs up if you enjoy this video. So uh, I was, like I said before, I was challenged to do this drawing upside down. So uh, I did. You can look over on the left of my uh, drawing board and see the photograph that I was drawing from and the uh, paper that I'm using. Uh, I'm drawing on it upside down. It's kind of hard to see what I've got. I actually used a piece of um, kind of scrap paper. It had a bunch of charcoal all over it. You can see the charcoal kind of a lot over there on the right side. But I just drew right on top of it. And I thought it might add to the picture. But when I was done, I, I didn't really like it a whole lot. And I tried to erase some of it. Uh, but uh, overall, it turned out pretty good. Uh, so this is a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Chris. And he made a face that was kind of distinctive when I took the reference photo. And uh, I liked it a lot. Of all the pictures that I took of him, I kind of like this one a lot. My picture actually makes him look a lot meaner than he really is. Uh, he's a really great guy. And uh, he was having fun when he made this face. Uh, he was trying to look mean in the picture, but even in the photograph, uh, he just doesn't really look that mean. Uh, it looks like a playful, mean face. But in my drawing, uh, when you see it turned right side up, he turned out looking really, really uh, kind of scary. Uh, some of my students even commented that he looked evil, but that's not true at all. He's a great guy. He's kind of a, a big teddy bear. So... Uh, also, I thought it was great to do this upside down because when I use the ink, it drips upward, well, drips downward, and then when it's dry and I turn it upside down, it looks like the drips went up. So that was kind of a fun part of this. I did a few extra drips and, and all of that. I did find that I could not really pay attention to the detail like I normally do when it's right side up. And I don't know exactly why that is, but I probably will do a few more upside down just to see um, how well uh, I grow from this. Uh, I felt as though I was challenged by this a little bit. And because of that challenge, I'm pretty sure that um, my skills were growing and my um, brain, I know, my brain was just being challenged. And so my brain was being strengthened. So... I'm going to keep, I'm, I think I'm going to do it again, maybe not right away, but I'm going to try and do it upside down again. It definitely has a different look than I usually get when I do a portrait like this. And I don't know if that's because I wasn't used to doing it like this or if it was just because that's the way it is when you draw upside down. By the way, when you draw upside down, um, really uh, a really good thing happens. Number one uh, if you've ever read Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, one of the very first exercises that it gives you is drawing upside down. And the reason for that is because when you turn something upside down, it sort of loses its name and its objectivity. So instead of it being a um, an eye, it then just becomes a, a regular shape. Instead of, it becoming, instead of it being a nose, it kind of just becomes an abstract shape. And so by turning it upside down, I'm really able to kind of more clearly draw it correctly and accurately. Although in this case, uh, as I said b before, I um, didn't quite, um, I, I don't know, I didn't quite do it as good as I thought I would. But anyway, if you got any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. If you've got a challenge for me, uh, leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button. Talk to you later. Bye.